Um, £12 billion, pounds, you reckon, can be saved from the welfare benefit. Which benefits will be cut? Uh, good evening. We've set out today a strategy to deal with the economy and to make sure it continues to recover. And that means continuing to make some very hard decisions. That's what the Chancellor set out today. The hard work of the British people is paying off. We're not going to squander those efforts and we're faced with a choice. Britain is faced with a choice. We can either go back to the old bad old days of more borrowing, more spending and more debt, is, which is, which is Labour's way, or we can go forward and continue to have a growing economy, which means dealing with the hard truths. Right. Now, Do you specifically my on yeah, was? absolutely, and dealing now specifically, I want to set the context, and I, I will okay. of course come to your question. It's a very important question. We've got spending cuts this year, next year, which includes welfare cuts. And what the Chancellor set out today mm. that beyond the next right. election, there'll be a further 25 billion of cuts, 12 billion of which will be welfare cuts. The Chancellor has given some suggestions today about what kind of welfare cuts we're thinking of, but we're going to have to deal with a welfare budget because as we've just seen sure. in your piece just now, it's still the second largest item of government spending and we're not able to bring the budgets I'm sorry uh, to books be back into balance. As you've just said, this is a very important question. That's right. Which benefits do you propose to cut? Well, we set out today two benefits specifically. Yeah. We're going to look at housing benefit for under 25s. Right. We're going to look at people How that live in council ho houses that right, earn more than 60 Let's look at housing benefit for the under 25s right. to start with. I'll come to you in a second, Chris, as you don't worry. Um, housing benefit for the under 25s. If you cut that, how much money will you save? Well, it's not going to lead to the whole 12 billion, and that's not our strategy no, today. No. We, set out, we set out a process today of the types of cuts we're thinking of. We're not going to write our next no. election manifesto well, right now. You, can you but just what give we're us a rough do, idea? Said, it, it, it depends on how you finally set mm. out that policy. And we have not set out every detail of that particular policy. It's something we're looking at. Just give me and, a, you know, I'm not even asking uh, to the nearest hundred million. The nearest billion will do. Well, I, 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 what I'm going to set out for you is that over total 12 billion of savings, yeah. That can be an important component of it, but I'm not suggesting for a second that it adds up to the 12 billion, nor is the Chancellor suggesting right. that. What we're saying is these are the kind of tough it's, decisions we need to make. It comes to nowhere near 12 billion. It's around somewhere under two, it's, isn't it? It's, it, it will probably, that some of the estimates we've heard today from right. some of the uh, economists the, is around two billion, but sure. it depends on the final detail. But the important can thing I just is show you we have begun a very important process which Let deals me just with show you a piece of tape, and I wonder whether you've really thought this through properly. Let me show you this piece of tape, which is a young Excuse woman. Me. She's 22 years old. She lives in West London. This is what it would mean for her. This is how she depends upon the benefit that you propose to cut. Let's hear it. Growing up, it felt like I had to like grow up fast. The disagreements with like my mum and my brothers and sisters is because like I told them that I was gay went upstairs to my room, all my stuff was packed up in boxes and I went downstairs and I said to my mum, what are they doing? She was like, you don't live here. I stayed between friends of friends, you're constantly moving, you don't feel safe, you don't feel stable and I just spoke to the council again and just finally it got through to them and practically I got a place in Centre Point. So it's about £170 um, per month just to live here, but housing benefit um, helps towards actually me having a roof over my head. It's not a lifestyle choice for us. You need it, because if you don't have it, then you're homeless. Right, so if you cut housing benefit for under 25 year olds, there is no money to pay for the place in a hostel which a girl like that has. Well, first of all, well, no, let me tell you, well, first of all, there are many under 25 year olds that work. They pay taxes, which make the oh, money that it, helps it, pay it, these benefits. Indeed, there are. And many of them live, live with their parents or their no, friends. No one disputes and whereas that. Whereas people that are under 25 that are not working yeah. are currently entitled to housing benefit, as you've seen. What we need to do to make sure that people like this young lady and many others have a better standard of living is making sure we have a growing economy and the economy continues to grow. And yeah. we're only going to yeah. achieve that if we keep confronting the problems facing our country. We cannot go back to the bad old ways. We have to Can make you, tough decisions. All right. And if it's not well it's got question. to come from somewhere else. And those are equally tough decisions. She's got to just hope for the benefits of a growing economy, has she? Let me well, ask you another specific question. You cut housing benefits for under 25-year-olds. Does that include those who have children? 
we haven't set out the details of this policy and nor were we going to no. set out the exact details today. What we're showing is that we are willing to deal with the hard truths that are facing our country. We will confront these tough decisions and make sure our right. economy continues to grow and the recovery is not put at risk. Now, Chris Leslie, how many of these proposed benefit cuts, you probably will be no more specific than Mr Javid has been now, but of the 12 billion which these guys are going to cut from the welfare budget after the next election, how, many would how much would Labour cut? Well, you gave Sajid a, a moment to put these things in context, so I'm afraid I'm going to uh, require the we same little bit of explanation. He's, he's come up with, they've dreamt up this figure of 25 billion for four years' time. My view is that a sensible government would look at the state of the economy and make decisions based on what the economy right. needs. The Conservatives, George Osborne, we know they're playing politics and they've plucked this 25 billion figure out of the air as part of a political game to somehow right. create dividing lines. So you My think worry there needs, is, needs to be no, no, of course there are going to, and we've gone further, to be fair, Jer Jeremy, than any other opposition by saying we would, we would, we would not borrow no further uh, in 2015-16, the only right. year they've done this spending review for day-to-day -day spending. But the, but the key thing is this, yes, no. we'll have to have cuts, but they have to be fair and they have to okay. also support Let's growth take in the economy, the and that's going to be the, the dividing the, line between the parties. The, the, the specific, specific example of the young woman we saw there, you would not cut the benefits well, of someone like it's that. it's a very good question. The, the notion no, I'm of asking housing you. benefit under 25s, what about people leaving care, for sure. example? You've mentioned the, no, the case... I'm asking in you what you would do about it. Well, I think what we need to do is for the housing benefit bill, it's gone up considerably and mm. the welfare costs have risen mm. because people's earnings have fallen. There's a lot of people in work who get housing benefit and that no. bill has gone up. If we dealt with the cost of living crisis, right. we could reduce the housing Can you make a promise benefit. to... That that woman and others in her position that you would not make these cuts. I don't think it would be fair to hit her even further than she's already suffering because of the cost so of living crisis. So you can make her a promise, can you? Look, uh, it's the difference in political values. I happen to think that in, in a society you've got to stand up for <laughs> those who are vulnerable. You're making a pledge now, are you? We, we wouldn't do the bedroom tax. We, uh, you know, you look at the list of well, other... Well, other about the Let's bedroom take, tax? No, 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 the, these are examples of fairness versus unfairness. We also wouldn't give a, a tax cut to the richest £150,000 earners, which Sajid decided to do in April, cutting it from 50p to 45p at a time when people are, can't get food, you know, on their table, the food bank queues, think about people struggling to heat their homes. Sajid, you have a very unfair uh, society out there made more unfair because of your... Uh, uncaring approach to managing the economy and the cost of living crisis which is getting worse not better. So, me, so what we've heard from Chris is exactly what I said an inability to confront the hard truths facing our country. But you're borrowing more, more than spending, ever before. More no, borrowing bor and more debt. The that is reason, the reason you're borrowing has gone up is because you've has. neglected growth. And and so so you don't get Chris, it. you were asked about housing benefit. You're, the only policy that your party currently has on housing benefit that you have committed, you will include in your next manifesto, is to actually increase it to make sure yeah. people have more rooms than they actually need do in their Do you understand homes. the point? That I is the Sajid. only policy okay. Do you understand the point I was making about people who, when their earnings fall, of course the housing benefit rises. The cost of living has an effect I, I on the welfare like bill.